Hello, it's Les Arnott here again. Uh, welcome to Photo Trains tutorial. And this time we're going to be looking at getting rid of some unwanted items on a photograph. And on this photograph I've got of a yellow hammer here. We can see we've got some blades of dead grass that really ruin the photograph. One in the foreground there and one in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is to protect this layer. I'm going to copy the layer, duplicate the layer. So if I click on the layers, if we right click on there and click on duplicate layer and then on OK so it's just the right click click on OK and you've got your duplicate and then we can get on to work to work to get rid of these uh, unwanted items so to do that we're going to use the lasso tools and if I click on the lasso tool we can see basically we've got three we've got the standard lasso tool the polygonal uh, polygonal lasso tool, I'll never say that, and the magnetic lasso tool. We are actually going to use in this case the polygonal, so I'm going to click on that. Now the reason I'm using this tool is because it's quite long and straight this in, this is the perfect tool to do that, so if I just click to the side of it, and I'm not getting too close to the edge because it's quite easy to especially when it's blurred to, to leave a little bit on there. So I'm making sure I'm outside of the, the actual item I want to remove. I'll just draw around that. And up. And then when I get to the top, I'm going to double click and that will close the selection. And then we go to Edit, Fill. And when the fill box comes up, we have a few different things that may be on there. At the moment it's on content aware and that's what I want. But if not you would click there and you can see the other selections. You can replace it with a foreground colour, the background colour, a colour of your choice or a pattern or black, grey, white, whatever. We want content aware. Make sure that the colour adaption is clicked and that the mode is on normal. Opacity 100% and we click on OK. Now I'm going to right click on that and deselect and we can have a look at this and you can see that it looks a little bit unnatural in parts and that's quite often the case. It doesn't always do a perfect job and, and this is where we retouch and the best tool to retouch this with is the spot healing tool. So I'm going to use the spot healing brush tool so I'll click on that. Change the size of the brush to suit and I'm just going to drag a few little areas so it's just a, a little a little tiny drag don't go too mad and that will just soften up those areas see so there's an area there where it's looking very unnatural it's looking fine now it's looking much better I think I'll also remove this little bit there. So again, I'll switch back to the lasso tool. It's best to do this separately instead of one choice because if you select too much, it uh, makes things a little bit harder for the tool to work. Double click. Now, another way of getting back to the fill uh, dialog box is to hold down the shift key and keep it down and press the backspace key once and straight away you'll get the fill box. So you can either go to edit fill and do it that way or you can use the shortcut so the shift key and backspace all I'll need to do is click OK on that I'll deselect you see that's not too bad again I'll just touch up a few little parts using the same tool as before It's looking much better. And now we're going to remove this one at the front of the image. So back to the polygonal tool, the lasso tool, and we just draw around this. Okay, remember, don't get too close to the edge, leave a little bit of a distance. And I'm going to use the shift key and the backspace again. Click on OK. Right click, deselect, 
you can see in that case it's done a perfect job I don't have to retouch that at all what I will do is just go back to the spot healing uh, spot healing brush tool I'm just going to get rid by dragging over this grass there just get rid of any other um, smaller unwanted items this little blade of grass here I don't want that there it's a distraction and there you can see you look at the layers I'll hide that layer you can see the previous and then they're completed image and you can see much better without those distractions there when you've completed right click on your layer and flatten the image and you're ready to save as JPEG or, or whatever for your use. I hope you enjoyed that. Well, that's informative and it will help you in your projects and photographs.